Hi, Mark. Who's that? He's running around the corner. <laughs> I love hear? it when we see when Did you hear my foot slip makes on his appearance. That's okay. Well, uh, you're, you're crunching you know all those numbers. What's going yeah. on? Uh, big numbers today. I mean, you know, for, for mid-September, low 80s today. And tomorrow we're going to add. I think we're going to add to those numbers. I think we'll be around 90 coming up for tomorrow. So notice the typical highs in the upper 70s this time of the year. And we've been kind of in that range for a few days. Uh, like I said, everybody's going to be a little bit warmer tomorrow. Now, first, we got a cooler night. Everybody's in the 50s tonight. There'll be some 40s in the outline areas, including the coastline and spots. And then we'll warm things up. So tomorrow, um, the, I guess the sweatshirt is only for, you know, right away in the morning when it's kind of chilly. And then uh, you're going to want to, uh, once you get the wrinkles out right there, you're going to want to um, take a lot of those clothes off because it'll be pretty warm in the afternoon. I think we'll be around 90 at 5 p.m. So what's ahead? I don't see soaking rain for at least another seven or eight days. That said, I think there may be some showers next week. I'll show you why in a minute. Briefly hot afternoons tomorrow and Friday, at least this time of the year when it hits 90. Sun angles very low. Uh, sun doesn't feel quite as strong when it hits you. And then the other thing that's going on is that our nights are, what, two and a half hours longer. So by 7 p.m., the sun's already behind the hill and uh, you've lost all your sunlight. So it you know, cools off much more quickly in the evenings. Showers, there's a small chance Monday through Wednesday. Well, I think the biggie is uh, afternoon temps with more cloud cover. Mid-60s and mid-70s coming up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It'll feel more like fall. And we had that, I think, about a week and a half ago where we stayed in the upper 60s and low 70s. But for now, the jet stream is way up to our north. That's why it's warm and dry. It really stays that way through tomorrow and Friday and Saturday and most of Sunday. And then here comes a big dip in the jet stream. And our models are telling us that dip, or what we call a trough, will be close enough that it might send a shower south of the Canadian border into western Washington and northwest Oregon on, on Monday. If not Monday or Tuesday, there's a more significant little dip here. Look at that. That may move right over us uh, Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. That could give us a better chance for showers. So we'll see how this plays out. But the point is, that's the whole point of first alert weather is to tell you, hey, we're seeing something out there. If you want to have things stay totally dry, you might have to cover them at some point between Monday and Wednesday of next week. So there's your dry streak forecast. If you need a three-day dry spell, you're still good through Sunday. But then uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we will see. Now, as for cloud cover, I think tomorrow's all sunny, no low clouds. We top out, I think this model doing well, right around 90. Notice the coastline up for 70s to around 80. And then Friday, low 90s, maybe a little cooler on the coastline Friday. And Saturday, this only takes us through midday, but the point is another totally sunny day on Saturday. So sunshine across the board tomorrow. We'll start cool, end up warmer than today. A little bit of a northerly breeze, none of that hot, dry east wind, so that's good. And Friday, about 92 is the wind will be pretty light as well from the north. Saturday, calm wind. Great weather for the um, thorns in the evening. The sun will be behind the hills, so it won't be hot by any means. Comfortable. Clouding up on Sunday around 80. And then we dip into the uh, low 70s for highs, which means really most of Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to be in the 60s. And overnight lows will drop off as well. Again, going to feel more like September, I think, again, beginning on Monday. Real and Pete. Okay. A toasty uh, bit of a mid-September there. Mark, thank you, sir. MGM Resorts continues to recover after a cyber attack. What you need to know to protect yourself as the FBI investigates the incident. The Fox 12 Job Connection.